What's up? What's up? What's up? This your boy Zeke Dow, and I'm back with another video. Hey, Dow team. If you're in the market to get a truck, you know where to go. Give Lone Mountain a call. Go to their website. Check out their inventory and find yourself your next truck. All right, doll team, man. This video is kind of all over the place today, but I just want to give y'all an update on what's going on. So, had a load, and uh, I jumped back five days to jump on my bike uh, when I came home for Wednesday. So, this road that I'm on here is a normal route that I take all the time, but I need y'all to watch this black SUV over my left shoulder. Alright, you see them creeping up, keep watching, keep watching, boom, yeah, he's an idiot, he just hit that dude, now he could have very well hit me, but I'm glad he hit a, a, another bigger vehicle instead of my bike, now I heard the noise and I'm looking at him, dude takes off, he gone. The, the other SUV is chasing them through the grass. That's why I'm looking like, okay, another day in Memphis. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man, I was getting ready to roll out to um, our bike night here in Memphis, which is normally a pretty big event. But due to recent changes with the city, they're only doing bike night like once a week. So... I'm thinking that the crowd is not going to be what it used to be uh, in the near future for bike nights until they get it back to the normal uh, once a week setting. But um, I'm glad y'all tuning in, man, to see me doing a little bit of riding. Now, the video is going to look like I'm going faster than what I am, but I'm really doing like the speed limit, kind of. <laughs> But, man, hey, if you ride, man, drop it in the comment, man. Let me know what kind of bike you got. I think I've had some subscribers do that before. So, let me know, especially if you're on a Harley, man. Drop them Harley bikes. Matter of fact, if you want to see some pictures of your Harley on my channel, drop me an email with your picture. Hit me on uh, IG, Zeke Dog Trucking, man. Y'all know how to find me. And uh, let me see the pictures of the bikes. Now, if you just happen to have a black road glide by my, like, uh, like my bike, you know, kudos to you. You may get a special highlight or something. But, uh, man, I'm really enjoying this ride. The weather was good. Couldn't complain about that. And um, that's really all you can ask for, man. Other than uh, this little light traffic trying to get through downtown. And then the police, he rolled it on the left. I know y'all just saw him. So I had to really do the, the, the speed limit that reflects the numbers on the sign. Here we go. The Mighty Bill Street. And wouldn't you know it, it's half empty with bikes. But the biggest loss is going to be from the business owners because they're losing out on, on our money. All right. So, got back on the road and went and picked up a load. And uh, I was taken to go drop it off. And I get to this TA, man. I had reserved a part. So, I'm pulling around. I'm looking for a reserved part. I'm looking. I'm looking. This dude don't spoil the part there. So I'm looking, I'm looking. No parks. Now I already paid my money now. So y'all know how I am once I paid my money. Uh, Zeke Dog don't like to be scammed. So I get over here. 
I see, wouldn't you know it, a prime truck trying to get into the park. Now I'm like, man, this dude, you know, I think he can do it. So he cutting it. Now, if you know this, there's an oversized truck in his way. And I'm like, all right, I see one guy get out to go help. And he's, uh, he's almost in there, man. But the thing is, there's not a lot of room. Now we got a second guy coming out to help. Come on, Prime. Don't give up. Prime gave up, man. So now, let me let this rider do on by. Now old Zeke Dog is going to give it a try. But when I tell y'all, me attempting to get into this park was probably one of the most complicated parks I've ever attempted. I ain't say I get it. I got it. I said I attempted it. So I saw the mistakes the other guy was making. But that doesn't mean it can't be done. The, the worst part about it, you got this, this truck sticking out 15 feet and you already don't have a lot of room to work with. So I'm glad I had a couple guys out here to kind of give me directions and watch my blind spot because the last thing I wanted to do was bump another truck. But I also wanted to get in and park. And I'm looking, I'm like, man, y'all keep telling me to come forward. Yeah, I can come forward, but my trailer couldn't go back any further. So it's like, yes, I can go one way, but it ain't really helping me the one way I can go. And so uh, I end up having to get my truck turned a little bit to the right. That way I could bag the trailer on up in there. So uh, it took a lot of, I want to say attempts, but a lot of maneuvering. Small little tweaks, a little bit here, a little bit there to uh, to get myself aligned. And hey man, it's a T8, T68 T, uh, looks just like mine, but squirrel. So um, I bag on in there, man. I'm happy. I go over there. I thank the guy because that's what Zeke Dog do, man. You, you should always thank somebody that's going to help you out. So I'm looking, uh, I'm looking at the lot now. I'm like, man, this lot full. And I'm like, I know everybody over here has paid their money. So, you know, nothing else to do but sit, chill for a minute. Um, but then what I notice is, and, and y'all going to see it in just a second. There's a little, uh, there's a little guy riding around out here on a, um, I guess like a, a scooter, not a scooter. Uh, um, golf cart well I'm gonna let this truck get in I'm gonna tell y'all about the golf cart guy come on Freightliner bag it on up oh it's good that he was getting out the check and and before y'all say well Zeke dog why well, you didn't go help it's another guy out there helping already I think it was the same guy that was helping me so Oh, here go, Mr. Golf Cart Guy. So he's riding around checking to make sure everybody paid their bread. And um, I don't always put the receipt in my window, but you, you got to go in to get the receipt. If I book on the app, I'm not going to walk all the way in to uh, get a receipt until I get ready to take my shower. Then I get the receipt and I'll come back out. So he's looking around checking people's numbers and he rides off I'm like okay all right we must be good over here then he come back now if you can see the reflection on the truck in front of me he's actually stopped at this big oversized truck guess what this man hadn't paid no money yeah yeah he made a move so all that work that I did to get into that part for nothing if he wasn't right there, I could have jumped in there with no problem and been done.
All right, doll team, man. I am looking at a 24 model. Not 24. Correction. 23 model. CF Moto 800. Touring. Man, this thing is sweet. But I want the 24, but I love the color on this one. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all the lights on this baby. Ooh, tell me that's not a nasty look. Like I said, it, they come with winches. They come with LED lights. And you got the screen up here. But this one doesn't have the new LED screen on it, man. It comes too up. And this seat, man, it's like air when I sit on it. <clears throat> got the grips. Uh, set of grips, the uh, hand rest or hand grips for the passenger. Man, this thing is just—it's nice. I love man. This orange color hits, and the new ones—they don't have that popping color yet. I think they got black. Uh, I said black. I'm trying to say black and gray. They got like a black and a light blue. But, uh, this is a 600. <clears throat> this is a 600. You can tell the tires are definitely a more aggressive tire on this one. Uh, front end just, it just like this one sits up more. It's not that much higher, but I think it's just a hair higher. But even look at the, the, the lights on it. There's a big difference here between the 600 and the 800. <clears throat> Price wise, I would not be mad. If they had not made the changes, I'd be walking out with this thing today. But because they have made the changes, now I gotta find one with the changes that I want. Camel is. Mm, it's all right. It's not a bad, bad bike. This one, I, I could have so much fun on a 600. But I know what I want. I want that 1,000, man. I'm in Memphis, Tennessee today, man. So uh, I just got out the truck. And uh, just wanted to show y'all a few things. A few of the toys they, they got up in here. They got a lot of motorcycles. <clears throat> I may just drop the name of where I'm at. I think it's performance something here in uh in Memphis. Alright, so this is a motorcycle, but it's still a CF moto, so check out what the screen is gonna look like on the new one. See that's what I'm talking about bright LED. Man, that thing is nasty.
What's up, dog team, man? The weekend is over. More than a weekend, man. I'd have had like five days off. Got to my truck. Freaking truck wasn't even crank. I'm like, man, what is going on in my life today? But I'm here for a dropping hook to get started on this little quick run. So, uh, y'all still get to see a load. I got a load of tires I'm about to pick up. Some Goodyear tires. Or, uh, Cooper tires, one of the two. I guess Cooper owns Goodyear tires, because that's what it say on the building, but on the paperwork it say Goodyear tire. And this load actually pays pretty darn good. Especially when I only gotta drive four hours. Oh man. See everybody think, oh man, I need I need to be able to drive four hours, man, and make over a thousand dollars. It sounds good. Hold on. Sometimes you just need two hands to do the job. Like I said, it, it sounds good until you think about all the stuff that you need to get to this point. You need motor carry authority or the lease on or something out of the guy. You need insurance. You need a truck. You need a uh, fuel in the truck. You need maintenance on the truck. You need tires on the truck. You need all this stuff working for you. All this stuff constantly being used that you got to use over and over again. And when it's all done, yeah, you made that little bit on the low, but now you got to chop that up. Put a little bit for maintenance. Put a little bit for tires. All that, man. So we got this trailer drop, man. We about to pick up another one and we rolling. All right, dog team. So apparently, I still had my camera settings for like the uh, time lapse or, or the flash forward mode, and uh, y'all missed everything that I was saying. I was explaining about my load of tires and this and that. Got the Maverick coming through. I've actually uh, picked up where he, he about to deliver from, but I just delivered right here. It's like a little cul-de-sac. And uh, I'm pulling this truck out so I can rinse my coffee cup. Oh man, can't do it like that. Rinse my coffee cup out. And we're about to get the rolling, man. It rained so bad last night. Truck shaking. I'm like, yeah, this one here. It's going to be a good one. Yep. Get my coffee cup. All fresh and rinsed out. I normally clean it out, but, you know, I be feeling like dust or something gets in it if it sits. If it sits all day, so I go ahead and, and just rinse it out pretty good. Man, what the heck? Got a freaking Got a freaking nut in my tire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I need to make some phone calls. Oh, got a lot of stuff going on today. So, so man, currently I am in the St. Louis, Missouri area, not the exact city. And man, I gotta drop this empty trailer right here. 
And I'm gonna pick up some uh, air conditioner train, some train air conditioners, man. It's already preloaded. All I gotta do is uh, drop and roll. All right, doll team, man. I have made it to the second stop. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm at the second stop, man. So, uh, they're getting me unloaded. Uh, probably going to chill. I need to edit a video or something, but it really shouldn't take that long. I know I'm going to have more more downtown. But I say downtown. Down time later on because uh, I'm going to have to wait on my next load. I can't pick it up until 3 in the afternoon. Which I may I may actually be arriving like right when it's ready. <clears throat> and uh I put a few miles in on it today and then I'll shut down. Uh because tomorrow the, the next day is pretty much an all drive day. They got me scheduled for delivery on the, the following day that morning. Oh yeah. Man, when I tell you, <clears throat> it's been a long few days. I just need, I need just one day where I can sleep in and turn the alarm clock off and just wake up whenever I wake up. That's, that's what I need. But uh, I don't know how quick I'm going to get to it. <clears throat> so, we shall see, doll team. We shall see. All right, doll team, I am at the final stop, Sandusky, Ohio, getting unloaded. And uh, I'm hoping, hoping it don't take more than about 15 minutes. That way me and the White Walker can get the rolling out here, man, and, and go on to the next destination. So uh, this load, it paid pretty good. I don't remember the exact rate, but everything I've been booking lately been paying over $3 a mile. Now, occasionally, I'll book something high $2 a mile if, if I can't find a three, or if I'm trying to get to the house, I'll go down as low as $2, but that's one load. When you, you know, look at, you may have ran three, four loads that week. So it's all about keeping it balanced, man. Maximizing your home time, maximizing the profit you can make out here on the road. So man, appreciate y'all checking out these videos, man. Like, share, subscribe. Turn on that notification bell and join the doll team. So until the next time, baby, keep it trucking.